Hi everyone, today we continue with our Asteroids game. This is where we left off last time, our ship's firing projectiles now. In this session we're going to give our ship something to fire at. We're going to build some asteroids. It's going to look like this when we're done. Let's get stuck into some code. Before we write our asteroid code, first thing we need to do is tidy up a little bit. If you have a look, we've got quite a lot of code. We've got over 300 lines of code and we've got a few different classes here. The first thing I'm going to do is going to split up our code into multiple files. So I'll show you this example with the star class. I'm going to make a new file in a moment and it's going to be called star.rb. So I'm going to require it here. Let's create that file. And now I'm going to cut this code out and pop it into our star.rb. So I'm going to go through and repeat that for all of the classes that we have in our project. Now that our code's all organized, we're gonna create an asteroid class. We're gonna put it in its own file called asteroid. And we're gonna create a new class here. So the asteroid, we're gonna draw this image that I've got. And just to note down, it is 58 by 61 pixels. So we need to pop that in. So I'll say the width is 58 and the height is 61. When we instantiate this class, when we create a new instance, I want to draw a sprite. And it's going to be that file we mentioned, asteroid.png. Now we want to randomly pick a spot for the asteroid for the moment. So our X position will just be random on the screen. And Y will also be random. The width is the width from above. The height is also above. And the last thing is rotate. We're gonna pick a random orientation for the sprite. So we're gonna pick a random degree between uh, zero and uh, 360. So now that we have this class, we can draw it in our game. I'm gonna create a array to hold all the different asteroids we're gonna draw. And we're gonna draw new asteroids when we update our game here. So I'm going to say about every two seconds, we're going to draw a new asteroid. So I'll say if window frames mod 120 equals zero. So when 120 frames have passed, we'll add a new asteroid. And the last thing we'll do is we'll just cap the amount of asteroids we can have on the screen at any one time. So I'll say max asteroids is eight. And then we'll only draw if the asteroid's size is less than or equal to our maximum. Great, let's see if we've got some asteroids now. So every two seconds I should have a new asteroid. Awesome. So they're all the same size, which we're gonna change. So I think having Asteroids of different sizes might be interesting. So what we'll do is we'll pick a scale here. Now, I think the smallest asteroid might be maybe half the size of what we were drawing there. And the biggest asteroid might be maybe two times the size. So I'm gonna say half is the um, starting scale and then we'll pick a random number between zero and one uh, times it by 1.5. So this will be um, between 0.5 um, and two. And so now we'll multiply our scale here. And it means that uh, our asteroids should now vary in size. Awesome. Next thing to do is the, is the movement of the asteroids. So we're just gonna pick a random direction for them to go in. We're gonna create a new method here. And we're gonna pinch some code actually. We've already got some other objects that move. The projectile here, um, it's got this X and Y velocity that it calculates from the angle that it's rotating and also a, a given speed. So I'm gonna copy these two lines. We're gonna put it in our asteroid. I'm just gonna change this image. Ours is called Sprite, so it just needs a bit of a change here. And the next thing is to set this speed. So in a 
on the projectile's constant on our asteroid, I want a random speed. So I'm gonna create an array here. So we're gonna go between one and four. And now when we initialize our asteroid, we can randomly select um, a speed that we want to use. So we'll say um, speed is speeds.sample. And then we'll use that speed here. So now that we've calculated our x and y velocity, we need to use them in the move method that we've got here. And the logic's gonna be exactly the same as the player. We The player will reappear when they exit the screen and we want our projectile, projectiles to do the same thing. So I'm gonna grab some code from the move method here. We're gonna um, grab this code, which will change the x and y coordinates. And then we're gonna use this code, which will allow our um, uh, uh, our asteroid to reappear when it goes past the edge of the screen. Okay, last thing to do is we need to call this move method um, when um, we want to move our asteroids. That's going to be here on the game screen. So you can see that each um, update, we move the player. We also need to do the same for each of the asteroids. So let's loop through each of the asteroids. And let's move them. So let's try that out. Awesome. So we've got our asteroids, they're moving in random directions. One last thing we're gonna add is I want them to rotate in a random direction. So some will rotate clockwise, some will rotate um, counterclockwise and maybe in, in different speeds. So that's what we'll look at now. So similar to our speed, how we're randomly picking it, we're gonna do the same thing. Let's create an array of available options for our rotate. So I'll say rotations. And we want them to go both directions, counterclockwise and clockwise. So I'm gonna say for between negative two degrees each update, all the way to two degrees per update. So that'll create an array between negative two and two. It will include zero as well. So some of our asteroids, um, one in every five of them, will uh, not be uh, rotating. And I think that's okay, um, just for a bit of variation. So we need to pick a rotation now. So we'll say, uh, rotation and then when we move we're going to rotate our sprite all right let's have a look at our game awesome so some will be rotating um, Slowly, some will be rotating a bit faster, but there should be varying degrees of rotation. And I can see one there that's not rotating at all. That's all for this session. Nice quick one today. Next time we're gonna be blowing up our asteroids, which is gonna be great fun. If you want some more tutorials, you can watch a tutorial about building Snake over, over here, if you click the link. And if you wanna build Pong, you can click the link up here. Until next time, take care.